Hello, and thank you for joining us today for Virtual Preview Day. My name is Renee, and I'm one of the Enrollment Services team members here at Minot State. Um, so today we're just going to go through a little bit more about the application process as an international student. Um, so I hope that you were able to have a lot of your questions answered um, and got some good information from our different sessions through Virtual Preview Day. So first, the deadline for the application for an international student for fall of 2020 is June 15th. So keep that in mind as you're thinking about applying. We need all support documentation and the online application by June 15th um, for fall of 2020. So first, the application is all online. You can go to askmsu.com slash apply to complete the application all online. And then in there as well, it will be the portal for you to pay the $35 US dollar application fee via credit card. So that's a Visa, a MasterCard, or Discover card um, can be accepted through that portal. Um, once that application is complete, we also need your support documentation. So you will receive an email from an admissions specialist detailing exactly what documentation is needed for your specific application. So every country is a little bit different, so we have that personal touch to make sure that you're sending in exactly what we need from you. So what will be included in those kind of support documentations would be your current academic records. So this includes high school, secondary school, official transcripts, reflecting all current grades, um, courses attempted, all of your marks would be included on there. Um, additional items might be required for this section. So that might be exam certificates or diplomas. Um, again, circle back to that email that you're going to get from the admission specialist because that's going to be really where you'll find the most information about what's pertinent to you. Um, so again, we'll also need the application for the I-20 and the certification of financial uh, responsibility. So that email from the admission specialist will include a attachment with an I-20 application that you will need to fill out um, to the fullest extent of financial support. So bank statements, retirement funds, whatever it is from a sponsor that uh, proves financial responsibility to complete that I-20. So all of that can be emailed back to the admissions counselors. You can fax it in or you can mail it in, but we do recommend that goes through email just because that's the fastest um, method. And then, of course, we'll need an official entrance exam score. So this can be the TOEFL, the IELTS, the SAT, or the ACT. So whatever is applicable to you um, for those test scores, you only need one. So don't panic. You don't need to take all of them. Just one will suffice. Um, and then the testing scores for the passing scores are all outlined on our website, which we will the link is right below this video. And then lastly, we need a copy of the personal information page of your passport. So make sure that that photocopy comes in super crystal clear. It's not all blobbed out. Uh, the information is legible because that is something that is required to have on file as well. Um, you're not alone in this application process, so please reach out with any questions, email those admission specialists, contact uh, anybody in enrollment services via email, call us on their phone number. Um, our contact information is also included in that link that is below. And we would love to have a chat with you to talk, talk you through this whole process. So please reach out. Um, I hope you enjoyed the preview day. And we look forward to meeting you and having you come to our campus. Thanks.